You see, I only use 15 pounds. It doesn't take a lot of weight when you're doing uh, this type of work. Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com and welcome back for another video. In today's video, I'm gonna give you the five best arm exercises to build bigger arms without using heavy weights. That being said, let's get started. All right guys, before I get into the actual exercises that are gonna help you build bigger triceps and build bigger biceps, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, man, please subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure you click on that little bell icon. That way you get notified every time we upload a new video. All right, here's the thing. When it comes to building bigger arms, everyone loves the look of the biceps, the cool little softball, tennis ball. Some of you guys, unfortunately, golf balls. But anyways, here's the goal. Here's what you need to be focusing on. The triceps, the back of the arms. The triceps make up three fourths of your overall arm size. So if you're looking to fill out your shirt sleeves, you're looking for that big meaty arm, then you gotta prioritize the triceps. That being said, you don't wanna neglect the biceps. You still wanna make sure you're doing both, okay? But for these exercises, since I'm only giving you five, we're gonna go with three tricep exercises, since once again, that's the meaty part of the arm and I'm gonna give you two of my favorite bicep exercises. The way I'm gonna show you how to do these, we're going to actually go through and do a overhead stretch, which is gonna be a dumbbell overhead tricep extension. That's gonna give you your deepest tricep stretch. So that's what you wanna focus on doing when you're working your arms, is getting into the deepest stretched position as possible. So I'm choosing an exercise that's gonna do that with your triceps, and I'm also gonna show you one of my favorite bicep stretching exercises for your biceps, all right? So we're gonna do those, and then we're also gonna do a mass movement, which is more of a mid movement for the triceps, and then a shaping movement. So that is what I wanna start with. So we're gonna get into, actually, you know, let's start with the triceps, and we're gonna do what I said, the overhead dumbbell tricep extension. Here's the key when you're doing these. I'm gonna recommend doing it seated. You can do it standing if you need to, if you don't have a bench, all right? But if you have a bench, let's go ahead and focus on doing it seated first. You're going to grab the dumbbell, place it straight over your head. The other thing you wanna focus on, you'll notice my elbows are naturally flared out. You wanna bring them in. Bring them in, that's gonna allow for a deeper stretch. Nice full stretch at the bottom and nice hard contraction at the top. Nice, slow, and under control. Obviously, you don't wanna hit your head when you're doing these, so you wanna keep them back. You wanna make sure you're getting a full stretch at the bottom. I want them to see the big stretch, all right? So here's what I want you to focus on. Nice contraction at the top. Really squeeze those triceps, but don't stop here. Get that full stretch. You'll notice how deep that stretch is. You wanna go as deep as you can comfortably go, all right? You wanna get a deep stretch and then a hard contraction every time. Nice and controlled. Nice hard contraction, one more. Nice and controlled. Nice hard contraction, all right? So that's the first ex exercise. Again, the reason we're starting with that is because of that deep stretch. You're gonna stretch out those triceps, which is gonna also allow for better movement with these other exercises. The second exercise we're gonna get into is more of a shaping. This is the uh, dumbbell skull crushers. The key to doing the skull crushers correctly, okay, is making sure once you get up here, you notice the dumbbells are directly over my face. Well, you want them to be back here behind your head slightly. This is gonna help initiate the triceps. So from here, fix those elbows and just focus on another stretch. I'm stretching my triceps, contracting the weight back up. Also, when you're here, keep the dumbbells behind your head. What I mean by that is, Every time you come down, you keep the dumbbells here and not up here. I don't know if you notice that, but up here I'm resting, okay? I'm taking some of the tension off of my triceps in this position. You don't wanna do that. You wanna keep the tension there. From here, it's constant tension. Nice stretch, nice contraction. Stretch, contraction. Also, again, make sure you are controlling the weight. Don't allow the weights to drop like that. That's gonna be hard on your elbows and you're not getting the full benefits of the exercise. So from here, 
slowly control the weight down and then contract the weight back up. All right, so that's the second one. The third, we're using dumbbells because it's gonna create a deficit. And I like that it's easier on your wrists. Here's what we're doing, close grip push-ups. However, close grip push-ups on the floor places a little bit more stress on your wrist. So what we're doing here is getting two dumbbells and keeping them really close together. I like to keep them just inside shoulder width, okay? Just inside shoulder width, and you're gonna rotate your elbows in so that they're brushing your body on the way down. Nice full stretch on the way down. Nice hard contraction on the way up. Before I do these, the key to the contraction is almost trying to hyper extend this elbow. Don't stop there. It's like bringing it up as hard as possible. Get a huge contraction at the top of each rep. So here you'll notice I'm close. Dumbbells, which are making my hands inside my shoulders, rotating elbows. Down, feel the good stretch in your triceps. And then right there, really focus on contracting those triceps. Good stretch, good contraction. Let's do a couple more. Good stretch, good contraction. You'll notice I'm taking my time controlling the movement on the way down and also on the way up as opposed to dropping and bouncing. One more. Right there. Okay. These are three exercises. I'm going to recommend three sets of eight to 12 reps. So a little bit higher rep range. That's the thing that's going to benefit you. So you can get the hypertrophy rep range. So you're not going to have to go really heavy. Okay. So that's one of the main benefits to doing higher reps is it cuts down on the weight, which is going to be a lot better for your joints. Okay. Now we've gone through the three tricep exercises. So I'm going to show you two of my favorite bicep exercises. Again, higher reps, lighter weight, which is the key with this video and which is also the key to working out if you're an older guy. Older guys in general have less recoverability, have naturally more wear and tear on your joints. So you want to find exercises such as these that's going to place even less stress on your joints. And elbows is one of those that affect a lot of men our age. Elbows, shoulders. So this is gonna help neglect some of the pain that you have from all the natural wear and tear. If you don't have any yet, great, you may not, but it's one of those things that you want to avoid. So start doing some of these exercises and not go extremely heavy on working biceps and triceps. All right, this is a dumbbell 21s. I don't know if you've done 21s. They've been around a long time. It's one of the more popular ones. So you're doing 21 full uh, actual reps with partial rep ranges, meaning we're gonna start at the top, halfway down. Arms are parallel to the ground, forearms are. Right back up, one, two, three. You're gonna do seven, just like that. Four, five, six, Seven, now we're going all the way down to the bottom and only halfway up. All the way down to the bottom, halfway up for another seven reps. That's where the 21 comes from. Seven, seven, and we're gonna do one more set of seven here in a minute. Lost count, let's say that's six, seven. Now you're seven full reps all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up three, four, again, control the weight down, don't drop it, uh, two more, six, and seven. Those are 21s. You see, I only use 15 pounds. It doesn't take a lot of weight when you're doing uh, this type of work. You're keeping constant time under tension, which is what's gonna optimize your muscle growth as well. All right, the last exercise for biceps, I told you I'm giving you two. We're gonna use an incline bench, and these are gonna be dumbbell incline, uh, dumbbell incline curls, but we're gonna use a hammer grip, meaning neutral grip, grip. Palms are gonna be facing each other, like so. Keep your elbows back, straight up. You don't want your palms up, okay? Here's the key benefit to this. 
when we're working this range of motion, you're gonna be working your brachialis, and then you're gonna be working, let me show you real quick. You're working here, and then you're outside the long head of your muscle. The short head is the ball on the inside. By rotating these in, we're working more of the long head. All right, so you've already worked the short head with the other exercise, the 21s. Next key point I wanna make here, you notice my elbows are behind my body? That's where they need to stay. Flex the weight up, come back down. The reason I say they need to stay there, what people tend to do here is cheat the movement. From here, if you bring your elbows forward, I'm again in a resting uh, position, okay? I'm resting right here. I'm taking tension off of my biceps. Bring your elbows back. Instantly, you've got the weight of the dumbbells and gravity pulling down, so that keeps tension on the biceps. Good full stretch at the bottom. Good contraction. Full stretch, full contraction. All right, so same with the uh, biceps. Three sets each exercise. 21 reps, obviously, with the 21s, the 777. Seven. And then eight to 12 reps with the incline hammer curls as well. This is a well-rounded workout if you put these exercises together. There's a ton of different exercises I could have gone with. All right, there's a lot of great bicep exercises, a lot of great tricep exercises. But I wanted to do, what I wanted to do is give you something more for the mass, give you something for the shaping and for the stretching. So you're working your muscles from all three different angles, okay? That's the goal to getting optimal results. You don't wanna do the same thing constantly over and over again because eventually your body's gonna adapt. It's gonna stop responding, okay? So for working with lighter weights, which is what I recommend, all my older guys, you wanna do something similar to this that's still gonna give you great intensity, great time under tension. This is also something you can do twice a week, all right? It's one of those things you're doing nine sets of the, three sets, three exercises for your triceps, nine total sets, three sets, two exercises for your biceps, six total sets there. That's not a lot of work. So the key then when you're doing that little volume is to add more frequency, meaning if you did these on a Monday, do them again on a Thursday or do them again on a Friday, okay? Just make sure you have 48 hours of rest in between before you just repeat the same workout. You can also add this to some other stuff you're doing, but at the end of the day, arms are one of the most attractive muscle groups. It's one of those that stand out more than all others. You know, you can see it with any type of shirt you're wearing and this will help you max out those sleeves. But all right, that being said, if you have any questions about any of these exercises, or any of the rest periods, any of this, the reps, the sets, anything like that at all, comment below and let me know. Also, there's some other videos that I'm gonna recommend. If you're wanting to grow your arms, you need to make sure you are eating optimally, all right? You want the right type of nutrition to help you grow because if you're working out every day, you're doing everything in the gym, but you're not doing the same thing at home, you're not eating correctly, you're not eating in a surplus, and you're never gonna grow. So check out some of my nutrition videos that you can pair with this workout. And that's all I got, man. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.